Hi, I'm Renee, and I clean, organize, and declutter my followers' homes for free. In this episode, I organize and declutter a basement area, a basement back room, a closet, a pantry, a pantry storage area, and some kitchen cabinets. This all looks like so much fun, doesn't it? And it only took two days. Prior to moving to the back basement room, I started in this basement area. I started a staging area for all of the adult children's items. The parents wanted them to take their items to their respective homes. Any Christmas items I found was put at the base of the basement steps to be taken upstairs for the family to start decorating for the holidays. So here's the backstory. I was contacted to help organize and declutter a couple's home. They had been married for over 35 years. They were about to be empty nesters. The final adult child is moving out soon. This couple has raised their kids and are now ready to start the next chapter of their life. This backstory continues later, of course. I started cleaning off the desk, I put all the papers in one area, then moved to the bookshelf area. In addition to office supplies, there were scrapbooking items on the bookshelf. There was a water leak near the bookshelf, so I used this area for office supplies only and to make sure no paper items went back on the shelf. I did let the homeowner know about the water leak. In the basement back room, scrapbooking supplies and albums will be placed on the black shelving unit. I'm putting like office supplies with like office supplies together.
In order to make room for the scrapbooking albums and supplies, all the items on the shelf were boxed up. The food will be staged with the adult children's items. This is the start of the staging area for the adult children. I took the scrapbooks from the desk area and started moving them to the black shelf. This is just a start of all the scrapbooks that she had created. More scrapbooking items were in this cabinet, so I moved them to the metal book rack.
More on the backstory. In addition to raising their children successfully, the mother started a new career as an artist several years ago. Her work is phenomenal. Her work has been very successful in the marketplace and she needed to organize the basement area so she could have a place for her artwork once it was finished. Her art supply inventory will be stored in this cabinet. On to the back basement room. I boxed up the workout equipment supplies for the adult children to take to their home. They will be taking the treadmill once the room is cleaned. The rack to the left in the blue plastic boxes are photos and scrapbooking items. As I was cleaning off these racks, she was letting me know what stayed and what went to the children and what she wanted donated. I normally don't put heavy items on the top of racks, but this was the best place for these items. All of the crutches were donated.
There was some broken glass on the floor I vacuumed up. I reinstalled the insulation that fell from the ceiling. On these shelves was the kids' items from their early years. Did you notice that hanging nativity scene is moving? I think I hit my head about 20 plus times on it. Whenever it moved, my head hit it.
I moved more Christmas items to the base of the basement steps as I found them. Panda Bear got a new trash bag without holes. Their children all use this cradle. When they become grandparents, it'll be accessible to them. Any electrical problems arise in the future, I wanted the electrical box to be easily accessible.
She also needed space for her inventory of canvases and her booth items. Next, I started on the bedroom closet. She wanted this to be decluttered and more of a gift wrapping closet. As I was removing the items, she was letting me know what was to be donated. I sorted like items together, tissue paper with tissue paper and bags with bags. Moving on to the cubbies, there was lots of games in the bottom cubes, so all of those stayed. I used baggies to put the game pieces together with the games. Baggies really help the person see what's inside the bag to identify if they need the item or not.
the cube of light bulbs and batteries, I sorted them apart and moved them to the top shelf of the closet. On to the kitchen pantry. I removed all the items and checked for expiration dates. There were very few items that had expired. After wiping the wire racks clean, I started to put the items back on the shelves. I was also asking how often they used items to know if they could go in the front so they can easily get to them. Light items go on top and heavy items go on the bottom shelves. I'm so glad I could help this family.
Underneath the sink was next. This area just needed a little bit of organization. I put the items in the plastic bin so the chemicals if they spilled would not ruin the cabinet. Are you ready for some before and after pictures? I also organized their spice cabinet and their pan cabinet. You've watched this video so far and I am lucky enough to help these families. Watching this video means you are subscribing to help declutter and organize more families' homes. Thank you so much for subscribing. Isn't this so much better? They were so pleased with the work that I had done. They made a donation to my favorite charity, Integrated Play, which helps veterans and former pro players in their career transition. I'll leave a link in the description below. This is the text message I received from the homeowner after I was done. I absolutely loved it. The Stages of Renee 1. Man, I love this woman. 2. Something might be wrong with her, though. Why would anyone do this? 3. Oh, my word. This woman is like the Energizer Bunny. This is exhausting. I hate this. 4. I am disgusting. How did this happen? Why did I keep this crap? Am I a hoarder? 5. Ah, how great is this? Man, I love this woman. 
Thank you so much for the kind words. My next video is ready for you to watch. We'll see you there.